Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your sister, sister Love at Home Come Home Game. Um, today is the 19th of February 2021. I'm here to share a dream I had about um, war and uh, bandit invasion. Okay. Um, so it was not quite long I had uh, a dream about this same war. I think it was this week or last week I shared on the on my YouTube channel. Now yesterday again, yesterday night I had this dream. Very terrifying. Very horrible. In fact, I didn't know that it was a dream. Okay. Um, in the dream, I saw myself and my younger sister. We were together. She had a male child. I had a male child in the dream. I don't have any um, little male child. My my children are a bit grown up, but the child I saw in the dream was like about one year, two years plus. In reality, my sister does not have any male child, but she was carrying a male child in that dream. I was carrying my own male child in that dream. So it's like we got the information that this bandit have invaded our area. So we ran into the bathroom and we shut the door behind us and we started crying out for mercy. We started crying to God to have mercy. Oh, ah. thus the cry was a very touching one, okay? Deep from my heart. I was crying with my whole heart, crying to God, pleading, asking for mercy. At the time I was shouting and asking God to have mercy. I was like, God have mercy, God have mercy, deliver us. That was the only thing I was saying in the dream. God have mercy, God have mercy, deliver us, protect us. Because in that dream, we got that understanding that these people that are coming, they are brutal and they are heartless. They are not like human beings, okay? So when they come, they would ask us to sleep with our sons. So they thought of that. I was I was going insane in that dream. How can I how can how can that be? So I was like, God, please don't let this come to pass. Don't let this happen. These people would rape us, they would sleep, they would ask us to sleep with our children. So that thought was was unthinkable. So I had to increase the cry. I continued to cry, God have mercy, God have mercy, God deliver us, God have mercy. And then I woke up. I was so terrified. When I woke up, in fact, I felt that they were already here. I had to come down to the lobby. I was peeping, trying to see if people had already invaded my home. It was scary. Then after that, I had to go and shut my room door. <laughs> in fact, I, I, it, it, it was not a good dream at all. And could you imagine that that my sister... When I shared the dream with them, my sister said she had almost the same dream that same night. Yeah, these people were about to invade and we are trying to build um, iron fence around us. Okay, so this dream, mm, um, to me, what it means to me is that the only thing that can deliver us from the hands of these people is mercy. Mercy. We should start pleading for God to have mercy. Let us read from the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 12 to 13. It says, Therefore also now said the Lord, Turn ye even unto me with all your hearts, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great, and of great kindness, and repented him of evil. Okay, verse 16 says, Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber, and the bride out of her closet. Nobody should be spared. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thy heritage to reproach. That the hidden should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among people, where is their God? We over here, the South, we profess to be Christians. We call God in everything. 
my people from the east. They call God in everything. God will help us. God will lead us. Some of them are agitating for war. Let me tell you, you will regret it. Like I said in my last video, you have no match. You have no match to those people. You don't have the weapons. Okay? You don't have the weapons. Okay? We don't have the weapons. We don't have the capability. <clears throat> Excuse me. These people are far ahead of us. So it's not by our power, it's not by our might. But by the Spirit of God, the help of God. If you watch all the battles that the children of Israel fought and they won, it was God's help. It was not by their power, it was not by their strength. So you should stop saying, we are ready for it. Come, we are ready for it. You are not ready for anything. Please, let us do what the Bible asks us to do. Let us repent. Everyone should go back and start asking God for mercy. It is mercy that we need. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for deliverance. Verse 20 of that Joel chapter 2 says, But I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face towards the east sea and his hinder part towards the utmost sea. And his thing shall come up and, and his ill savour shall come up before because he had done great things. Okay, so we can see what the Lord will do. And remember my last dream, I said this people are coming from the north to invade the south. Now the Lord is saying he's going to drive the northern army. So let us pray and trust in the, in the, in the, in the word of God. This was not like a dream. I don't know if these people have already surrounded us. I don't know. But no matter what, I believe that there's nothing that the Lord cannot do. Please share this video. Let us continue to pray and ask God for mercy, not judgment, fire, brimstone upon them. No, it is mercy we need because this land has shed innocent blood. The judgment of God is here. Let us begin to pray and ask God for mercy. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. Please subscribe, comment, share, and like.